Hey YouTube and welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. In the previous video I showed you the canyon lands uh, from the regular perspective and our adventure throughout the day. In this video it's gonna be a little bit different because it's gonna be shot with the Insta360 ONE RS camera so it gives you the feeling of all the surroundings in a whole area of Canyonlands. In this video I would like to also shine a little bit of light on Canyonlands itself as a park. Canyonlands is the largest national park in Utah and its diversity staggers the imagination. The easiest way to see the park is with the visit to the island in the Sky District, only 32 miles or 51 and a half kilometers from Moab. The island in the sky offers many pullouts with spectacular views along the Pave Scenic Drive. Hiking trails and four-wheel drive roads access backcountry areas for a day or overnight trips. The island in the sky sits atop a massive 1500 foot mesa, quite literally an island in the sky 20 miles or 32 and a half kilometers of paved roads, lead to many of the most spectacular views in canyon country. From this lofty viewpoint visitors can often see over 100 miles or 161 kilometer in any given direction, resulting in panoramic views that encompass thousands of square miles of canyon country. Take a short day hike or spend a relaxing late afternoon enjoying the sunset, wherever you have a few hours to spend or a few days. The island in the sky provides unforgettable canyon country experience for the entire family. Let's talk about the weather a little bit. It will get hot in there during the summer. Canyonlands National Park, known as a high desert, with elevations ranging from 3700 to 7200 feet above the sea level, Canyonland experiences extremely hot summers, very cold winter, and less than 10 inches of rain each year. Temperatures may fluctuate as much as 40 degrees in a single day. So get prepared and have lots of water because you will need it on a hot day. If you are planning to spend a day in a canyon land or longer, get prepared and stock up on food and water. You will need it as there's no stores or facilities to purchase it. While you won't find lodging or dining facilities in a park, Canyonlands offers two camping sites and backcountry camping opportunities. If you're planning to take in the great desert outdoors overnight, prepare for your visit by learning about safety regulations and necessary permits. Join a ranger lead tour to experience some of the park's most iconic sites. <laughs> 